There's a new documentary called The Most Biodiverse Place in America. Paradigm Films behind this project, hosting a screening this Saturday at San Diego State University, joined by the director, John Fisk, here to tell us all about it. The director of The Most Biodiverse Place in America. Where is this place? This is San Diego County. So San Diego <laughs> right. County is the most biodiverse place in America. Okay, I love that you're highlighting this because not many people know how diverse uh, the nature is around here. We talk about microclimates all the time uh, on our newscast here, but tell us, what did you discover? What did you share in this documentary? Well, what's amazing about San Diego County is it's the only place in America, and it may be the only place in the world, where you get the ocean, mm -hmm. the coast, this very precious chaparral. Yeah. You can move up into the high grasslands, get into mountains above 6,000 feet in elevation, which brings a lot of snowpack. Okay, and yeah. then you go back down the side of the mountain into the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. And that provides the largest range of mm -hmm. species in America. That's incredible. And I mean, this video right here, <laughs> to capture all of this, look at the variety. It's beautiful. Uh, how fun was this to get out there and film and direct and be a part of? Well, it was great. I mean, if it looks and sounds good, it's because Paradigm Films is the geniuses behind the film. Nice. Uh, I got to do this with my boys, Johnny and Charlie. So cool. And so they are the ones who are really discovering San Diego County. So we're looking at San Diego County through mm -hmm. the eyes of young people discovering uh, it for the first time. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, when you, a kid sees, you know, like a turtle for the first time, the, seeing it through their eyes feels so special, like a hundred times better than your first time. And yeah. you're like, uh, so tell us about that. What did they learn? What were they most amazed by? I think some of the things that amazed them most actually occurred in the Anza Borrego Desert. Nice. We went into the mud caves. Oh. We went to the wind caves. We went to the slot canyons. And some of those geological formations, which have been being formed over thousands of years, really opened their eyes to the fact that Sineo County is more than just the beach, it's more than just you know, some of the tourist attractions. Mm -hmm. We've got an entire backcountry that is totally open uh, to San Diegans and visitors. You said slot caves? What? what? Yeah, the slot canyons. <laughs> I didn't even know, slot canyons. So there are giant canyons that are you know, 20 feet tall that have been carved by water for Amazing. thousands of years. And you can travel through them, sort of like some of the canyons uh, you might see in uh, Utah or mm -hmm. Arizona. We have that right here we in have San it Diego. Here. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. And we cover things all over our county. <laughs> well, most Teaching us so much new things. Yeah. <laughs> most nature documentaries, you think, oh, that's great. I'd love to go there, but I'm not going to go visit polar bears in the Arctic or something. Here, this is mm -hmm. a nature documentary that's all about what's right here in our back country. Oh. So you can travel one hour, two hours, and you can see all of this. You can, as I like to say, in San Diego County, you can have breakfast on the beach, right. lunch in the mountains, and dinner in the desert. That's awesome. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of people do that, and it yeah. doesn't take that long, one, one or two hour drive tops. Uh, tell me about why you wanted to do this. Uh, also a lawyer by trade, correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, what a difference, right? Yeah. So I work in the environmental litigation space, okay. and I grew up with two parents who were county and city planners. Okay. So I grew up knowing about environmentalism and land use and urban development. Mm -hmm. And so for me, this was a very natural fit. When I went to go start my very first documentary, this is the subject I wanted to do. I was born and raised in Rancho Penasquitas, and I spent a lot of time in the Penasquitas Creek and the Penasquitas Lagoon and Torrey Pines, uh, which are all featured in this documentary. That's awesome. And yeah. to know San Diego that well, to have a love for our county uh, the way you do, and then relay that to the rest of the world. Uh, tell me, you've been showing this at a few film festivals, right? Yes. What's yeah. the reaction been so far? The reaction has been great. We have actually won to our Maybe to our surprise, we've won six awards, wow, including yay. things like the best conservation film at the Catalina Film Festival. That's huge. So I got to go there with my boys, Johnny and Charlie. We got mm -hmm. to dress up in tuxedos and walk the red carpet. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> that is really special. Yeah. I mean, even to have your boys in this film, how fun was that for you? How it was, it was, was fun. It was a very interesting experience yeah. because they are still your children. So you've got to kind of corral them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've got two boys. I've got four boys total, but yeah. the, the two that were mainly in it are totally fearless and adventuresome, so it was relatively easy for them to go out and experience the county. Great. Oh, I bet they had so much fun, yeah. too. They get to work with Dad and these yeah. <laughs> amazing filmmakers here. Uh, tell us about the screening Saturday. What do people need to know if they want to come out? So we have a big screening. San Diego State at the Conrad Prebis Theater at the okay. Student Union Center it has 300 seats. It's wow. a state-of-the-art theater. It's absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous. Uh, we are accepting uh, uh, RSVPs to that. Okay. If you go to the website biodiverse.movie, Okay. You can RSVP for that screening. 
Uh, we have full seats right now, but we are inviting people to join the wait list. Okay. And we want everybody to see this documentary yes. as much as possible. Is it available to view or you have to go to the screening to see it? Right now it's available in San Diego at the screening only. Okay. It's available at film festivals. Right. And right now we are in the process of talking to distributors to pick up the film and distribute it on television. Right. I mean, the world needs to know how biodiverse we are here in San Diego. So great to see this on film. Thank you very much for coming today. Thanks for having me. And thanks for doing this work. Thanks. And to your sons, to everybody involved. Yeah.